Today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I am a busy mom and sometimes I feel like the calendars on my phone um, don't do enough for me and writing stuff in the notes section doesn't do enough for me or typing things in the notes section. Anyways, um, so I decided to look into a planner and it was between the Erin Conrad, I think, and this other company I found called Plum Paper Company. Now I decided to go with the Plum Paper Company. Um, they're based out of San Diego, they're a smaller company, and I made a planner online with Erin Conrad and looked at the price and looked at everything I was able to add on and customize and then I went on Plum Paper, I saved that and then I went on Plum Paper and again customized a planner for me and my what I would want to use it for. It just came down to I was able to do a lot more with the Plum Paper planner. Um, they're just, there's more options for the the covers, you can customize the covers a ton, you can customize the kind of calendars you get and then you can add on, on top of all that, a ton of stuff. So I think it's plumpaper.com, so if you want to check it out, go ahead and do that. I was super impressed by them. So I'm going to do an unboxing because I ordered my planner, it takes about th two and a half, three weeks for your planner to get made and then to get shipped to you. Um, so I ordered mine at the beginning of April, um, I think April 10th, and today is the 20th. So it took about 10 days and it came in two days. So this is a box that came in, it's supposed to be super easy to open, so I was hoping I wouldn't need scissors and I might. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so nice bubble wrap. So first off, you have this. It says, this is our cover material. Sample, try me. It's water resistant, tear proof, rigid, and sturdy. I got a sample of post-its. That's very pretty. I did not know they made post-its. The paper feels amazing, just like smooth. These planners, you can start at any month, any time of the year, and they believe they also have 12 month and 18 month planners. Let me take my planner out. I just got my initials on it. And I started it in this month. Um, I've never had a planner before. It's something I've always wanted. Um, I just never jumped and did it. And I decided to jump and do it. This is a 7x9, I think. Um, there's two sizes. There, sorry, there's two sizes. A 7x9 and like an 8x11. Or an 8x10. Something like that. Um, I got the smaller one of the two. I decided to start it in April and go till next April now. I might be going to school in the fall. And if I really, really like this, I might just order a new one. Um, if I don't feel like uh, I added, added uh, enough pages or the right kind of pages. But for now, I think this is going to be a really great investment to help keep me organized. So let me just open this up. Okay, so with these planners, the coil is amazing. It's super strong. It's not just like one of those notebooks you get at Target. Um, very strong, very sturdy. It comes with this protected plastic sheet. You can barely see it. And I've heard these don't really get caught on the coil, which is nice. Um, and then this is the actual cover. Again, um, there's different things you can do to the covers. I there, I put my initials at the top, you could put them at the bottom, you can put a whole name, you could put a quote, you can put the dates up here, just whatever you want. It's really, really up to you. And the designs, there were not, um, there were, I'm sorry, there were enough designs that I think anybody could find something that they really, really liked. They had very modern ones, they have these floral ones, they have tons of different floral ones. Um, so it's just really interesting and fun just to go through and look at the different covers. This is just the one I really liked. So this is one I got. So you open that up. This is really sturdy, by the way. 
and it just says weekly plum planner right here you have the 2017 calendars and the 20, 2018 year and then it has a section for special dates for the entire year and this is usually where you write anniversaries or birthdays things that you need to remember like that ideas and goals and as you can see all of the um, colors are kind of like an ombre they kind of fade out they all kind of match I decided to go with the pastel colors for my tabs um, it was an option there was two options for what kind of tabs you wanted and I like the pastel colors um, it kind of went here I don't know I just thought it was pretty so this is a for April and this is where you write your goals for the month so you can do goal one two and three birthdays events things to remember and these two are blank then you have a blank notes paper and this is the calendar so that you first off you have your monthly calendar where you can just write everything and then i got the weekly so i'll always have a month calendar at the beginning and then when i turn over i'll always have um the weeks so i got uh, i think it was the horizontal option too and that was the week on this side and the notes on this side so anything i need to write for the week that's extra i would put it here and planning out my week and putting in notes would go here now these boxes are gray because what plum paper does is add the week um, of the previous month if it's overlapping so Saturday or April started on a Saturday so that's when it, the color fills in so as you can see it keeps going and then here again we have the notes pages I kind of like to write things out in bullet points so this is um, a little bit easier for me again this is my first planner so maybe next time when I order a new planner I'll go for a different format but that's kind of how I did mine. Now at the end of April, I added extra notes. So this is the end of April. Luckily, April ends on a Sunday. So this whole week has all colored in. And I have an extra notes page and a to-do list. So this is just random to-do lists um, throughout my calendars so at the end of each month i'll have one of these and this is something i added on if ever i need to flip to that if i'm making a to-do list here if this is extra to-do list um, i feel like maybe i would use this to hey you need to do this before the month is over and then if it's something that week i would put it here and then i also have a monthly cleaning schedule so i can write in when I'm going to be doing that, what dates I'm going to be doing that, bonus room, bathrooms, and um, what I need to do in those rooms, and just kind of keep up with it. Um, I'm just hoping that will really, really help me do the big stuff more often. And then we start in May. It's a slightly darker color than April was. Again, it's kind of like that darkening theme. And we start all over again. And that's how each month is going to go. And like I said, um, I got from this April to next April. So you can see the tabs here. The last one would be March, I guess. I guess that's how it goes. And then I added two more tabs to mine. I added a meal planning tab. This one's really important to me because I try to plan my meals and everything and have everything written down is just I've been writing everything in the notes section of my phone and it's just not efficient so what's awesome here in this tab is that you have kitchen conversions if by any chance you need them and then on this side grocery ingredients for the month so week one two three and four and then monthly meals so you can do it by month and plan out each day of the month if you can do that so this is where your groceries would go and this is where your meals would go for those days same for this one groceries month and I have it for the entire year
And then I have, oh, I didn't see this. This is Takeout Favorites. This is awesome. Okay, so let me look at this real quick because I didn't see this. So we have the monthly meals. And then um, meal ideas for breakfast, snacks, and lunch. And I would love to just go through Pinterest and like write things down here. And meal ideas for dinner, dinner, and dessert. So if you're one of those people that like switching up your menu um, all the time, this would be great. And I know I do for sure. And then recipes what kind of meal it is, source, and then you just write it here. Oh, this is so awesome. So this is for the favorite meals that you've made and takeout favorites. And then this last tab I have in my planner is a to-do. So um, I feel like this is going to be really great for me, especially if I'm still using this planner when I start school. Um, it would be really easy just to mark it down for whatever week and write down homework assignments or class assignments here. So I'm, I thought maybe it was overkill, like getting too many to-do lists, but I actually think this is actually going to be great, especially if I go to school this fall. So this is awesome. And then after my to-do list, um, they come with these dot grid papers. I'm not sure what anybody would use this for. And then passwords to remember passwords. My contacts, which this would be great because if I don't know anybody's number and if I ever need it, here, it would be in my planner. And a list of the U.S. holidays. So for the next three years, actually, so holidays in 2007, 2018, and 2019. And then a 2019 um, calendar if by some weird reason you need it. And then I added some sticker pages. And what's awesome is I didn't know they were attached to the book. I thought I was going to have to figure out how to um, store them. But I got this one. And they don't offer a lot. That's the only like sad part. So I have bought some on Etsy. That should be coming this week. To supplement these. But these actually look really great. And I think I got this one. And I got this one. And I got this one. I like to just to make anything important stand out a little bit more. And here is the back fold folder in the back. That is also attached to the planner. So it attaches here. It's an open slot. And you have an open slot here. And then the back of the cover. And plastic uh, protector sheet. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my plum, pa plum paper planner. I'm really impressed with it. I'm excited to start using it. Uh, I'm gonna get started tonight. I got my trusty pen case ready to go because I have a lot of things to plan for and a lot of things to look forward to and a lot of things to schedule already. So I was super anxious for this planner to come. It's here, I'm gonna start using it. I will use it for about a month or so and then let you know how it's going, if it's helping me at all.